Okay, so another way to attack the arm in guillotine is from the back control. Okay, so if I have back control on my opponent, okay, and maybe he's, he takes one of my hooks out, happens, right? And maybe even uh, he brings my arm through the side of his head, right? This happens, this is a smart thing to do. So what I wanna do is, so I like to post my hand on the mat because I, I like to be sitting up a little bit. This hand here, which would have been the arm that's gonna choke him, right? But he brought it to the other side of his head. I'm gonna reach across and grab the inside of my own thigh. So I'm grabbing my hamstring across his body. So it makes a seatbelt situation for his chest, okay? I'm grabbing the inside of my thigh. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, because this hook isn't there, he easily can be turned to his side. And I think he would want to. This is like a, it's a, it's a route for him to escape. So as he starts to turn, I can push on his face with my tricep too, you know? You can give him a good oomph in the face, like bah! And then kind of invite him to sit, turn over. And when he comes up, he comes up, he comes up, boom. Uh, thumb knuckle into the armpit. We have to let the shoulder escape, right? This is one of those situations where you can cinch it up too tight, too quick. And if his shoulder's stuck inside, uh, his body's gonna be turned awkwardly so he's not gonna feel much strangulation, okay? So we want that shoulder to pop out. Yes. Throw the leg over the back, pick up the hips. And like, even there guys, I didn't even really squeeze it. Just picking up the hips is enough to create a lot of the pressure for the, the submission to, to work. 